So this is an OSSC, Open Source Scan Converter, and this is an older model, and I am going to upgrade it um, so that it can take the latest firmware. And the reason I want to do that is because if you upgrade it to latest firmware, uh, it will support LumaCode, which I'm going to do another video on, which is a output format that the Commodore 64, 128, and Atari 8 bits can use. So at the moment, um, the problem with this is it's an older firmware, and to upgrade it to the new firmware, you have to do a mod. The The way to do the mod is listed on the OSAC site, but I'm just going to do it on camera. Now, the way you can tell that you've got the old version, if you turn it on, if you've got a firmware, if you've got a firmware that starts with zero, this is 0 0.9, then this is the older model. So if you want to go to the new firmware that supports LumaCode, then you will need to do the hardware mod and also upgrade the firmware. So like I said, instructions are on the site, but I'm doing it on camera. This has been done in some other videos as well, but I'm just doing it because I've done one of these before and now I'm doing this one. So first thing to do is to take this thing apart. Now it looks like this one. Some of these have got different cases. The one I've got has got a different case to this, um, but this one's got the screws underneath. So I think I've got to take these feet off they've put the rubber feet over the screws some of these have migrated a little bit so they're not actually over the screws so i'll take this one off anyway because it's in the wrong place so this isn't a difficult mod but it's it just requires installing one wire but this thing is quite small inside so you're gonna need some quite fine soldering gear and some good magnifying glasses i think oh these are long screws If you can hear a noise, it's my laptop starting to overheat from the uh, recording the video. It's working hard. Ooh. Um, has this just come out? I'm not breaking anything. It feels like it's just going to come out. There you go. Right, so that's just the case removed. So, there is a resistor down here that's got to be removed. And then it has to be wired up onto one of the pins of one of these ICs. I'll have to check the diagram. And you probably can't see it, but it says on this this particular board is an OSSC 1.7. It says it on the board down there. Yeah, so this is going to be difficult to see, but one of the things we've got to do is we've got to remove the resistor at R35, which is just this one. So yeah, I've got to remove that resistor, which looks big on the camera, but it's absolutely tiny. So it's R35, you can just about see it there. So that has to come off, and then where I'm poking there, we're going to put a wire onto that. And then that wire has to attach to, where are we? Pin 1, pin 1 on U1, which is this pin here. So you can see the, these pins are actually tiny. So we've got a wire, just put a wire between there and this pin here. That's the entire hardware mod and then we just put the thing back together. Once we've done that, it'll just carry on working as normal. I think this uh, there's a red LED light that's down here. So that red LED will stop working. Um, but other than that, it'll carry on working like normal. And then the um, when we put the new firmware on, we'll be able to upgrade it for LumaCode. So just showing it again on the bigger picture, the resistor down here, we're going to put a wire through to there and it's going to get wired onto that pin of that IC there, which you can actually get to quite easily. So for this, I would recommend, um, I don't normally use these, but um, this is the soldering iron tip that I normally use and it's quite small, it's a few millimeters. But if you actually look at it on here, it's just, it's absolutely massive when you actually put it in there. So I'm going to use the smallest tip I can um, so, I don't, so I don't burn anything. Yeah, this little tip is the smallest one I've got and this, this will actually do. So normally I don't use these because they, they're usually too small. Even then you can see how big it is compared to that resistor there. So that's the tip I'm going to use. I'm going to swap this out just for this particular job. But yeah, normally I don't work on stuff this small. All right, I'm going to take this sticker off as well because it's in the way. Sorry, sticker, you had to go. Right, I've just taped this thing down so I can try and solder this while it's on camera. That's as close as I can get the camera, unfortunately. Any closer than that and it just goes out of focus. 
and then I'll try and get a little bit of fresh solder on there. This is leaded solder, so it should melt a bit easier. Right, so I'm just going to melt that solder and try and squish that thing off. There we go. Gone. And it's, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's stuck to the soldering iron there. Right, so the next thing is to get a little wire between the top of this here. I'm going to wire it around to there and onto that pin there. So let me just cut a piece of wire for that. Right, I know it's a little bit blurry on the camera, but it's the best I can do. See if I can just get this attached. It just melted the socket a little bit there. That's not right. I'm soldering it to the both ends. I don't think that's right. I think I've I think I've bridged it. Or not? No, I've done it. That is correct. I'll bridge these two ends. No, that is good. So that's a bit fiddly, but it can be done. Now, for this end, let's just see if I can get this on the camera. So I'm just going to put a bit of solder on this wire. And that's way too much. Whoa, where did that go? Did that just go on my board? I think it did. Yep, I did in fact just drip solder onto the board. I'm going to have to get it off now. Oh, there it is. No, don't go in the connector. There it is. I just dripped a bit of solder on the board. That was not good. Don't do that. Dripped it on a connector as well. Right. Back to where we were. I've got to try and connect this thing up again. I'm going to put a tiny drip of flux down here. I say tiny, but it's flooded a lot of the connectors, but that's because there's so much, it's so small. There's not a lot of solder on that. Right, that might be it, but I'm going to have to check it because it's really, really tiny. Nope, it's good. It's good. So that's not too hard, but it is a bit fiddly. Let's put it that way. So that's the whole mod, really. It's just installing a wire. And I think the other thing that I do is to just put a piece of sticky tape in to keep it from flapping around. So I'm just putting one piece of tape in to stop it moving about, but it should be all right. That is the mod done. So it's just a simple remover resistor and a wire. So it's a wire going from there to there. That's the whole thing. Right, I can put this back together now.
Let me turn this soldering iron off first before I burn myself. Wow, that's tricky. Is that it? No. No. There it is. Don't know why I made such hard work of that. Oops. So if everything's all right, we plug this back in and it just turns on just like it did before. There we go. So currently no change other than we're missing a, an LED in there. But yeah, so next step now is to, can you see that? Still 0.9. Next step now is we can use an SD card and we can upgrade the firmware. Right, so now I've got to actually install the firmware and that means writing the firmware to an SD card that we're going to put in the OSSC. So I'm on the page here and now I can actually download the uh, 1.xx series um, firmware, which I couldn't do before I did that mod. And I'm also going to, I've also downloaded this Etcher software and sold that because I'm using Windows. So that's what I'm going to use to write it onto the card. You need a card that you're going to completely wipe to do this. So if you go to this page, I'm downloading the latest one, 1.12, and it's this bin file I want. So I'm downloading that and you can see I've downloaded it before there. And what I'm going to do is launch the Etcher software. And I'm going to do flash from file. And there's the one I downloaded. And it's going to say it's got a missing partition table, but you can carry on with that. That's all right. And now I need to select the image. So I'm actually going to I've actually got a brand new SD card here. So I'm going to use that. No, jeez. I'm just going to put it in this. I'm going to put it in this adapter, so I can put it in another adapter. So it's going in this adapter, which is then going in this adapter. Oh, I've already got one in here. I've already got an adapter. Let's plug it into that. There's too many adapters. So yeah, I'm just plugging it into this. There we go. And that's going to go in my computer. Right. And back to here, select the target. And it's this SD card. I'm going to select that. And I'm going to flash it. So this is going to totally wipe it. And now we wait. complete right this should be good um don't need that anymore so now i can get my get my sd card back out of here out of this little adapter and i'm going to shove it into the ossc i think it goes with the pins upwards that would make sense uh oh don't do that. Whew, just dropped it right in there. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> Don't do what I just did. I just dropped it right into the unit. There we go. Right. Okay. Now, when I turn this on, I don't think anything will change. Still says 0.9. 0.9, so we're gonna to go to menu. I'll have to find, you can do this with the on-screen menu, but I think you can do it with this LCD panel as well. If I go to menu and I go down, 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 down. Settings options, uh, it's not profile, reset settings, uh, auto detect. OSD, import settings, export settings, firmware update. There we go. I'm going to say OK on that. And it says 1.1.1.12. One to update. Yes. Verifying. Firmware update. Please restart. Let's just restart that. I can get rid of that SD card now. We don't need that. If I can get it out. 
Right, let's have a look. There you go, 1.12a. That's the latest firmware. So, all we've got to do now is just plug this in and see if it actually still works. So this now should have the Luma code option in it. And here we go, let's have a look, see if this works. And there you go, it boots up. Does it get a picture? And, well actually, it's got a test picture. There's nothing plugged into it at the moment, but let's just see if we've got our, um, there we go, we've got our Luma code option. So we've upgraded it to the latest firmware and we can turn Luma code on and off. So that's really good. So that is a success. So there we go, it's a success. I've upgraded my OSSC from a zero point firmware to a one point firmware and I didn't break anything. There we go, still works. She's exactly what I wanted. Right, that's it for this video. 